Hey guys, good morning. I have the amazing Latasha from Griffin Travel Group. Latasha, how are you this morning? Hi, Cindy. I'm doing well. I'm so excited to have you on the show today. So, so you guys know, Latasha is a recent graduate of our Careers on Vacation program, and she's been so generous to uh, stop by the show today and share a little bit about her journey. So, Latasha, let's start by talking about where was your business before taking Careers on Vacation and where are you now? Okay. Um, so, let me see. I purchased my franchise in August of 2019. So, I was little, a little over a year mm -hmm. when I decided to um, go with you. I purchased a franchise, um, so I do have a host behind me. I'm great. They're backing me and everything, but I was just kind of stuck. I didn't know sometimes that very next step to take, and so I had listened to you. I saw your, you know, marketing all over the place, and then I said, okay. I kept listening, kept listening, then I brought my husband in, and he said, I think you should go for it, and like, I think the very next day we we did. And so um, for me, it was important um, because I came into this new travel business. I'm all amped up, ready to go. And then COVID came in and kind of, and so I just needed that reassurance of how this would continue because I've been a um, traveler for a long time, traveled all around the world and back. So I understand travel, it can't go anywhere, but I also needed that that backing to of how to take it to the very next step. And actually, even if you purchase a franchise, I would still recommend taking this course because it, you know, it opens up a whole nother, you know, level that you don't necessarily receive from that aspect. The yeah, host. absolutely. Okay. Support wise. And I think yeah. when I work with franchise clients, a lot of times what I hear is the uh, the marketing is kind of like that base level marketing. So really getting into that, how do I resonate in an online marketplace? How do I really get relevant in that space? That's of course what we specialize in. Well, good. So Latasha, talk to me about what have been your biggest wins or celebrations since taking the program. Okay. Um, I would have to say, uh, I've always been sort of a private person, even though I've been in industries where my face had to be out, but it was still just a, you know, just a few people that I was exposed to. And so, and I really wanted to maintain that, um, like logo only presence. I didn't necessarily want my face out there. <laughs> so what I have a big win for me is that is just putting my face in front of the camera putting my face in front of my brand, making my face my brand. And um, so that has been a big win for me to have a reputable social media presence, you know, <laughs> that I can go out there and people are coming back and they're talking to me and they're saying this and that, you know, that's a big win for me because that's not necessarily where I was trying to go. Even when I initially did my training with my franchise, I was telling people in the course, like, you know, I'm not a salesperson. I don't want to be out in front of people. I just want you to see my logo, see my website, and then come to me. Uh, it doesn't work like that. And no. so that has been one of the biggest wins for me is just understanding that, you know, um, allowing my personality to speak for me and um, people that do know me, allowing my past reputation to speak for me. But now I'm out here in a whole new world. So that has been a big win for me. I love it. And just getting comfortable too, because yeah. if you if you haven't run a business before, it's one of those things where, and you come with a ton of experience and traveled all mm -hmm. over the world. So you had so mm -hmm. much we had to work with that we could parlay, but it's one of those things where it's like the hide behind the logo, right? That can get you stuck. And a lot of people yeah. do that. So it's, yeah. I, I always like to say that people buy from people they know, like, and trust and yes. that authenticity in sales is so important yes. in this day and age. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that's a, that's a gap. Sometimes it's hard to bridge without tools. So, and yeah. I was so, uh, proud you participated in our video challenge and you did that stuff that a lot of people are like, Oh, I don't know. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. You really worked hard at it and it doesn't yeah. come easy for everyone. Yeah. But 
once you get through that initial like, ooh, that was scary, or ooh, this is, but then mm -hmm. when you see that first sale come through, you see that first lead exactly. come in because of those other efforts, you're like, yes. oh, Cindy's right. I have to do exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So right, so right. I love yeah. it. That's so good. So another thing, Latasha, we have, of course, in the program, you know, is we a cornerstone of our program is mindset work. And okay. the reason why people can come out of other careers, out of other backgrounds and whatever, when they want to transition to travel is because we really work hard with all of our clients to get them thinking like the new travel agent, new travel agency owner, depending on mm -hmm. which uh, track they're on. But um, we try to get you into that place where you're thinking from that entrepreneurial spot and those yes. tools on what do you yes. do on the hard days? What, yes. How do you maximize success on the other? But how did the mindset work for you personally impact you in your life or business? Okay, so for me, um, and I knew this, one of the hardest things for me is um, I always said, and I like um, Brandon, you know, has said that's probably a, uh, a lie, but I've always said, Oh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't need my own business, you know, mm -hmm. just pay me what I'm worth. Um, treat me as I should be treated mm -hmm. in your workplace and I'm fine. Yeah. So my biggest thing for me, when I made this decision, because I actually left my, um, I resigned from my federal position a few months before this opportunity opened up for me. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, for a long time, I had this employee mindset. And that was very Ooh, hard so for me to switch. Mm. So I was, I was, I was used to, you know, even though I was a uh, high level, senior level, mm -hmm. I was not, I still had somebody kind of feeding me and telling me what should happen and what should be done daily. And so when you go over into this entrepreneur world, there's nobody telling you that, you know? Yeah. And so I, I needed just those small little check boxes just to say okay do this do this and do this now I got it <laughs> but yeah. that was a really big piece for me was that employee mindset and just and, and then also believing in my worth you mm -hmm. know I know what I will give to a client I know what I will give to a yeah. customer and so I had to you know accept that you are worth this mm -hmm. you should receive this. And so that was a big part of mindset for me. I love what you're talking about so much because we are diving into this over on YouTube a lot and more and more. We put imaginary ceilings on our success, oh, right? Yes. Because, oh, yes. and that comes, I feel like from childhood, I grew up in the Midwest and it's, you find a company, you work there for life and you just, you know, you tow the company line kind of thing. And so I'm like the black sheep of the family where I went out and did all of this stuff that no one in my yeah. history of my family had done. Right. Yeah. And it's one of those things where you do have to peel back those layers and go you know what i'm working so hard for this company why can't mm -hmm. i work this hard for myself and then reap the benefits why don't i deserve that like why am i you know my my value is my value so I, mm -hmm. i'm getting the chills now because it's so i love when we can kind of start to strip that away because yeah. If all we do is get you to work as hard as you were working for that corporation, but do it for yourself, there's exactly. so much more abundance, so much more happiness and the freedom. Like mm -hmm. even before the money comes, I feel like mm -hmm. day one, the freedom of going, I don't have to report to work at a certain time. Mm -hmm. I don't have to wear a certain outfit mm -hmm. to work. I don't have to follow anyone else's rules. I'm yeah. in my own sandbox now. So. Mm -hmm. That one hasn't come up in a while uh, in our case studies, Latasha. So I love that you brought that up. It's probably like, besides teaching people how to, the fundamental things of how to launch, grow, and supersize mm -hmm. a travel business, mm -hmm. when you can do that for someone, whoo, yes. like it's, I love yes. that so much. So I'm glad. Yes. And yes. Brandon's amazing. He's, uh, Latasha mentioned Brandon. He is our mindset expert we have on staff and he does calls with all the staff, checks in with our clients and he's phenomenal. You get me mm -hmm. for mindset too, but Brandon's like a whole nother level of awesomeness and we love him so yeah, much. Yeah, and, and he has the bo the best uh, analogies, you know, mm. like he's sitting yeah. here, he's talking about a bag of popcorn and like, where are you going with this? And then at the end, like, oh my God. So yeah, yeah. He ties he's always good. together. Yeah, he's on yeah. our uh, our meetings every week. And actually that we have one right after this. And he, he where he's, we call him the closer. He always closes the meeting okay. for, yeah. for uh 
for our team. So that's a lot of fun. So Latasha, walk me back to the beginning when you found us. So you had the franchise, COVID was looming down. You're like, what did I do? Like, ah, and you were in that space. Was it, were, did you have any challenges to start or did you have to overcome anything before you decided to work with us? I always like to ask that because I feel like there's people out there that are like, I know I need this. And I love your story. Like all the chips were down, but yet you said yes. So mm -hmm. what was that process like for you? Um, because I was already set in what I wanted to do. I knew that I wasn't going to fall to, I knew I was going to stay a travel agent. This is what I was going to do. And for, and I just want to back back real quick where we were talking about, um, that mindset thing. Um, I was listening to some affirmations yesterday and it was saying, um, be thankful for your, uh, your freedom of time. And Cindy, like that's my, that has been the most important thing for me because I was doing a lot of struggle as a lot of, you know, moms do, um, where I need to go to this job, but I also want to be here for my child. And so since all of this has started, you know, I'm able to, you know, get up with her in the morning, get her ready, get her out on her day, come handle my business, you know, and still be able to connect with her and my husband at the end of the day. But before that freedom of time wasn't there. And so that was a very important piece for me, that oh, freedom of I time. Love that. That, yeah. You know, when I became an entrepreneur more than a decade ago, even on the hardest days, I was like, you know what? I've never missed a ballet recital. I've never missed yeah. a game. Yeah. I, we either my husband or I pick them up every day from daycare or school. Like that was always like the blessing, even when we went through like weird mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. or down times. And that's like, people think money is your biggest commodity. It's not like your yeah. biggest, the only thing you can't make more of is time. Mm -hmm. time so exactly. that like, you're not going to get those morning moments back. And my kid, my little, my boys are 11 now. And I'm all like, I have one that maybe will snuggle with me if I really strong arm them. But like, mm -hmm. I just, I'm so like, feel so blessed. That, like so many years, like we had that just 15 minutes on the couch in the morning. I had my coffee, had my little yeah. kids under the arm and like, yeah. you'll never get that back. So, mm -hmm. uh, I love that you were bringing up some deep, good stuff today and I'm, I am here for it. Okay. Um, but yeah. yes, I will, I will jump back over. So for me, um, for me, it wasn't, uh, I didn't have a, a, a stumbling block or I just had to, to make sure I was for real. So I had to make yeah. sure I was for real. And you once I knew I was for real, then, okay, boom, I got to, you know, go. Because, you know, for, for as many weeks as, you know, the course is, um, for the investment amount that the course is, you don't want to, you know, play with this. So you, yeah. I would be, if I could tell anybody anything, be for real when you, when you're, when you say you're going to do this, yep. because yep. it does require for you to check in somewhere. It does require you to, you know, say, okay, you got to start right here. Why am I doing this? You know, you know, what do I want to get out of this? So, yeah, I would say be ready, be prepared, yep. know that this is what you want to do. Don't do this time investment, dollar investment, and you're not serious. Yeah. Yes. This is for people who are interested in serious growth and serious yeah. traction in their mm -hmm. business for sure. Because I don't do the work for you. I tell you what you need to do. I map it out for you. I hand you a roadmap. We have a whole team behind you for anything you need as you go. Yeah. But at the yeah. end of the day, you have to mm -hmm. crack open the laptop and get that stuff yes. done, which you obviously yeah. did. So yeah, cause even like on my first, I'm, my apologies, even no, like on good. the very first week, I was like, wait, is this all, is she not going to tell us what to do? Is she not going to tell us what, you know? So, so yeah, you have to do the work. Definitely you have to do the work. We'll map it out, but there's, and I feel like we do a little, a lot of soul searching in that first module, right? Like yeah. we're breaking down, like, what is your vision? What are your mm -hmm. goals? Because I always say, start from the end chapter, like where is it you want to go? And we can work backwards from there in terms of building and scaling your business. Um, but yeah, I love that. So Latasha, what would you say to that person who's out there and kind of like you, they're serious. They know they want to get into the travel industry. They want to do it in a bigger way and they, but they're just stuck. Like they're on that fence and they're not sure where they want to go. What would you tell them about leaning in or doing careers on vacation? What would you say to that person? I would say if you are at all serious about um, being in the travel industry, if you are serious about running your own travel business, 
I would say do it. Um, I really would. I did, From the very beginning, I never had one moment of doubt. After I, you know, did payment and stuff started trailing and trickling in, I never had a doubt. And even, you know, when I, you know, there's a lot of negative Nancy's in the world, you know, mm. no offense to Nancy, but <laughs> I was just like, okay, what are we doing here? You know, cause I saw people over different areas and it, it's just all this negativity, but I, like I say, I don't believe travel is going to ever go anywhere, you know, and do it do it make the investment into yourself because that's really what it is it's an investment into yourself because you have to be fully engaged in this you know it's it's no like you can ask all the questions in the world but until you know that this is what you plan to do this is what you want to do you see it you have the vision all of that go ahead and do it just do it i love that Without yeah a doubt. We'll be here for you every step of the way. I think what's different yeah. about our program is that it's not just like an e-program that you watch modules. Yeah. Like we're on those calls every week, either me or yes. my team. We actually have two classes every single week that you can come in and out of and get replays and all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, guys, if you are thinking about careers on vacation, I want to encourage you. If you are, if let's, what Latasha's saying is really sounding like where you're at in your journey, whether you're brand new or you're experienced, we have two learning tracks. If you're brand new, we'll teach you how to launch and scale. If you're experienced and you are stuck, we work with you right where you're at from a custom perspective and teach you how to grow. So all you guys have to do to learn more is go to cruiseonvacation.com forward slash ready now to actually apply for the program. There's also information on our website, so you can check that out there as well. But we would be honored to talk to you a little bit. And listen, the discovery process is really just so we can learn more about your goals. If it's a match to work together, then we will proceed and help you. The reason why you will find so much positive stuff about our company online and why we have Latasha, I think is like the 117th case study we've done is because we only help people. We only take on people's clients if we can really help you. So mm -hmm. that's one of those. That's why we have the success that we do. So if it's a match and if you are ready, then we can have that conversation. Latasha, was the discovery process weird for you anyway, that first call you had with our company? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, nope. They dug in, found out what I needed, where I needed to go and said, oh, I think this person will be great for you as a coach. And, and that's how we went. I love it. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story today. You've had such an amazing journey uh, going through the program and you're set up. You're ready to go. You are online. You are doing all the things and we're, you're not going far. We're going to see you over in the grad group. So yeah. I love it. Well, I will see you next time, Latasha. Hang out and we'll uh, touch base in the green room here in a second. Bye. Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business. And also I invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what I'm doing in my portable, profitable, award-winning travel business. Check out the videos.